Good morning, good morning. We are still sitting over there at the Flying J. And we uh, still have no reload yet. So, uh, uh, there's a guy sitting right here beside me here. I guess his uh, um, air compressor uh, froze up or something. It was making all kinds of funny noise, but I just wanted to show you how he's been driving from Quebec like this. Figured I would uh, show you guys how not to uh, have something loaded, you know, because uh, look at this. It's taking over on its side, you know. I mean, the load is completely shifted, right? That's not even not even loaded properly, you know. That's twisted and all kinds of stuff in there, you know. I don't know. I don't know why this guy keeps driving like that, you know. But he's an East Indian, and you know, I mean, look at even his strap. It's not even that. Uh, that's safe. He's not even got any anything on the edges there to. Uh, to prevent it from from ripping well he does have one over here yeah he does have one over here but nothing over there in the back so yeah anyways i think i'm gonna go have me some breakfast and we'll see what the day will bring us well here we are having breakfast i'm gonna show you guys have a look at this now that's my breakfast eh? so here we go we finished our uh, breakfast went back to the truck and we had a message from dispatch he says uh, go pick up an empty trailer up here in the yard here in Saskatoon we have a yard up here and then he's instructed me to uh, go to rejoin a Saskatchewan and he says I'm supposed to life load over there and head over to Winkler Manitoba which is uh, about an hour and a half away from my hometown. So, yeah, I guess I'll be heading back. Ah, that's all right. At least we're getting out of here. Once I get back home, I'll have a look at my hours and see where my hours are at. If I have good enough hours, then uh, I might just continue on. I might just tell this bitch, you know, if you have another load somewhere that, you know, especially up here in Canada, it takes me a, gives me a short trip up here in Canada. I might just do that. I might. Because I want to be back for next weekend, you know. Next weekend is uh, Valentine's Day. And it's also uh, the weekend that we can bring our daughter to Winnipeg. As most of you guys have seen, she's handicapped. And I would like to have that weekend at home, you know, because we can uh, have our daughter in Winnipeg. So that gives, uh, gives us more time for me and my wife and my son. So if we can do that, then... Uh, what we all gonna do then but probably gonna try and have barbecue again that wouldn't surprise me one little bit yep yeah transmission is a little bit cold yet doesn't want to shift very easily yet so yeah it's gonna get warmed up pretty soon once I start driving a little bit more but we just got to go just down the road here and that's where we pick up our empty trailer Anyways, let's go do that and then uh, we'll see you down the road. Here we go. Just finished loading up here in uh, the outskirt of Regina, I suppose. Now we're going to make our way down to Winkler. Yep, there's all kind of farm equipment and stuff like that that we uh, got on the trailer here. Doesn't even feel that heavy. Nope, not at all. As you can see, these are all farm equipment stuff that they got up here. Yeah, it's been crazy windy today, but we had to go against the wind today, but yeah, well, we made it. We certainly did. Roads were not too bad, but they were starting to go onto the slippery side, so. Uh, 
Yeah, so we have to be careful. But the main thing is we made it. Yep. Now well, we're going to go back on the highway and see what it feels like. Yeah. Not doing so good on fuel mileage when it's that windy, especially if you have to go against the wind. When you can go with the wind, it's better, but that's not my case today. Felt like the wind was coming out of the south somewhere. And whenever that's the case, then uh, if I'm going eastbound, you know, I'm going, the wind is coming from the side, you know, I mean, oh well, that's just the way it is. That's life, I guess. But this is the industry park here in Regina. Was a little bit pissed off at the customer when I called them earlier. They, they told me, like Penners told me to call them at my ETA. So I called them. And little did I know that the GPS location that they given me or the location they given me that when I type it into the GPS is actually the wrong address. And they never said anything that it was going to be the wrong address even when I called the customer. So that pissed me off a little bit, but yeah, well. I better know for next time. I certainly saved that location in my GPS, so I will know next time when they tell me to go here that, that that's where it is. Yep. Anyways, we'll put the hammer down and see how far we can make her today. Hey, I'm here at uh, Indian Head in uh, Saskatchewan. And uh, look at this. We're having ourselves some dinner. And I will have a surprise for you guys. Right here he is. And five out of us. I, uh, I'm uh, Peter Dirksen. Here with Rudy here, having ourselves a good uh, feast. Yeah, he's my uh, he's my cousin, and uh, we finally got to meet up. We haven't met up in a long time. It's probably been how long do you think? A couple of years. A couple of years, eh? Hey? Yeah. And so, what do you do for a job? I'm driving truck too. All these years already, so yeah. yeah back on truck. Always loves it. Yeah. What do what do you haul? Uh, I do actually. Um, uh, grain hauling. Grain hauling, yeah. yeah. All kinds of grains. And so how many you years have it. you been driving truck? Uh, it's been uh, closer to 14 years. Closer to 14 years, eh? Yeah, that's right. Wow, that's so a long time. I quit a couple of times, <laughs> but always gets me back on my feet and, you know, <laughs> <laughs> the truck always is best, the best job it can have. Yeah, yeah. eh? So would you uh, like to say anything before we go? Like uh, any any suggestions for truckers or? Be safe on the road, that's about it. Yeah. yeah. All right. All right, we'll finish our meal here and uh, we'll get down the road. Hey, hey, it's good evening. Well, at least it is for me right now. Probably isn't for you, but hey, for me, it's good evening. I hope you guys have enjoyed today's video. I certainly did. I enjoyed meeting up with my cousin. I haven't met up with him in a couple of years. He's been uh, moving back and forth to Paraguay and stuff like that and he lives in Winkler and I live in Steinbeck so you know we're both truck drivers so it's not always easy to uh, get together and that kind of stuff you know so it was nice to uh, finally see him today but uh, he did call me uh, this uh, evening here and uh, said he would like to make a correction on the statement he made uh, he said he drove for 14 years and he said that's incorrect uh, he had done the calculation afterwards and he said he only driven for about uh, just over 11 years so he said he would like to have that part taken out of the video and I said well would be kind of nice to keep the whole thing together you know but uh, so we decided to we'll, uh, probably uh, do something anyway so to make that correction so because that was incorrect so uh, here we are, we made the correction. So he had driven for 11 and somewhat years. That's still a long time. He certainly knows, uh, he certainly knows his job, so. But anyways, we are in Brandon, Manitoba. We have made it to Brandon, yep, that's right. And I did truck, uh, I did stop at the truck stop in, uh, in uh, Brandon here at the ESO. Not at the Husky. I read on the internet they're stealing fuel up there. But guess what? It would be a little bit more difficult at my truck to steal fuel because uh, 
I do have them fuel caps that have a lock on it that actually lock inside the tank so it would be a bit more difficult to get those uh, screws unscrewed without the key so we keep our fingers crossed that we will be safe and we will be able to uh, still have lots of fuel in the tank so uh, I guess with that we will call it a day and we hope to see you guys again tomorrow at 5 a.m. Stay tuned for that. Bye.